The reptile room that you guys know and love will be forever changed. Make sure to stay tuned to find out for sure what's happening. That's correct. There is some huge changes coming to the reptile room. The reptile room, as you guys know it, will not be the same pretty much ever again. And you might be asking yourself, how is that possible? There's already full well that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video is just what's going to be happening with everything in the reptile room so much is changing we have so many plans and i want to get it out to you guys because it holds me kind of accountable and i'd also like to hear your thoughts so make sure if you enjoyed this video you click subscribe if you're curious about what is going to be happening in the reptile room including maybe a patreon let me know your comments in the comment section down below let's go check out the amendments that are happening to the reptile room and see where we're going from here i suppose we can think of this as something like a beginning or a before kind of video of what the reptile room looks like beyond the reptile room tours that i do many months out of the year this video is definitely going to be one of those that you need to have some vision some uh, imagination to see exactly what is happening and the reason why I'm showing a few certain areas is because those are the areas that are going to be changing the most. First we'll start back here. Now this corner is definitely nothing special. It is a very basic plant rack that really isn't even set up all that optimally. How we are changing that is I got another greenhouse or a grow tent to fit several bins worth of plants in there. I will still have a couple plant bins. The majority of them will be moving into the greenhouse. I have that already. I just need to set it up and get this corner clear. That is the first change that is happening. And then what's going in, we haven't decided quite yet if it's going on the back wall or the wall that this rack is on, but we are getting a custom rack to fit all of our adult colubrids. When I say colubrids, that includes everything that we have currently and allows some space for some grow outs from this year's productions. But we have Saguaro, my very first snake ever, and the Lampropeltis pyramilana. Eventually we will be adding the Lampropeltis alterna to it when they're of size. That also includes our adult hog noses, like our champion breeder male Lux right here. He will be moving into that rack as well when it's all said and done. And like I mentioned, that rack will be going somewhere in this corner over here. We're not entirely sure where just yet, but it will have probably about 10 adult size bins in it. The bins that we'll be housing them in are the 44 quart ish that makes for about 32 inches by 17 inches of floor space So more floor space than any of them are actually getting in their tanks down here So we're really excited to have that come into play in the room over on this side of the room We'll be taking this top rack and making it the new bottom rack and the new bottom rack We're going to be selling on top of what will be the new bottom rack So this rack in front of us will be a P PVC top to it, which will be the new baby system. We're gonna have the baby vision bins as the new kind of hog nose grow outs, and what these shoe style bins are gonna become our grow outs for the Chihua. That way we can raise the Chihua on heat. That covers the first portion of the kind of upgrades that are happening. Of course, we can talk about Mr. Iggy himself, but he, as you guys already know, if you haven't seen the video, we made him a brand spanking new 48 by 28 by 48 inch tall tank. As you can see, it's going through a bit of a fungus gnat problem, but it is growing in. It's been about a month since we first planted it, and you can see those are all new growths. That's a new growth there. Uh, the whole tank is growing very well. So he should be going in here in probably another month, month and a half or so. With that said though, there is another reason why I was filming this middle rack here, and that is because it is, for the most part, going to be disappearing. The plan is to sell Bree's rainbow boa, who exists in that bottom four foot tank down there. Bree had the opportunity to pick up a pair of her dream snakes, so what we are having built is another 48 by 24 by 48 inch tall tank here, and this will essentially replace this entire rack right here. The measurements are the entire bottom all the way up to about here here and across and what we're going to be doing is moving the turtles down low somewhere we haven't entirely figured it out yet the Iggy will obviously be going into his tank so he's not gonna be there now that tank holds one of her dream snakes 
I'll throw up a picture of it on screen and you guys can figure out what they are. But if you can't figure it out, then just wait for the video of us setting up the tank and actually getting them. On top of them is going to be an Aussie gecko kind of display area. We have a PVC tank that is again 48 by 24 by 12 inches tall with five different dividers in them. As I, I would show you guys, but it's outside and it's <laughs> not in a filmable condition at the moment. Now, as I mentioned, we will be putting all the Aussie geckos that we have in there. That includes these, the Diplodactylus galeatus. And these guys are currently being cooled. Also, it will house these guys here, the Lucasium damium. We are very excited to get the new Aussie PVC display set up. It probably won't happen for a while because there's so many things that have to happen first, like selling animals, building tanks, all that kind of stuff. So it won't happen for several months, but these are just the plans that are in store. And speaking of plans that are in store, I mentioned it in the reptile room tour, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but this beautiful display tank will be no more. And all I mean by no more is that it will not be set up like this anymore. Right now it's just kind of a cluttered jungle of random plants that I had sitting around. Other plants I put in there like this beautiful anthurium, and it's going to be turning into a breeding tank for the Cruzio Hylocraspidopus. If you guys have seen my videos, you guys have probably heard me mention these. These are the fringe leaf frogs or the Cruzio Hylocraspidopus. They're a canopy tree frog that likes to lay their eggs inside of like stumps and hollows in trees. So what my plan is, is to build out of zoopoxy, foam, whatever I can, a giant stump in this tank. So I want it to be kind of lush and maybe unnatural otherwise, but I wanna build a giant stump basically occupying that whole back corner and it'll have a deep pocket in the middle for water. So I think that would look really cool. I'm gonna try and pull it off. Again, this is probably months down the road, but that is my vision as of right now. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do like a paludarium style bottom, but I am planning on doing a rain system up top. So it should be really cool. I'm very excited to get this going and uh, that'll be happening in the next couple months. Whew, we're already at a lot of different things happening in the reptile room, but there is more. Let me know what your favorite project is thus far in the plans for 2022, I suppose. I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but I feel like it is important to state that these are not short-term goals. These are goals that are happening and kind of unraveling over several months. It's not an immediate thing. I'm working a full-time job. Bree's going to be working a lot more and of course you guys I need to edit and post videos for you so it's not gonna be immediate but it's going to happen this year and I am so excited do you want to come out you've been scratching the whole time I've been filming the whole time come on no nope. this way oh. whoa <laughs> dude what are you doing here go up here go up on your favorite tank there now we can get back to showing you guys some updates. As you guys saw in the beginning, I teased this rack a lot and I actually did mention it in the reptile room tour. So if you watch that, you'll kind of have a bit of a spoiler, but if not, we're gonna be talking about this rack first and leaving the best for last. Now I believe I mentioned these both in the reptile room tour as well, but I feel like I should reiterate it here because this is kind of a catch all for what's happening. Now the Thai bamboo rat snake Cardinal who is just poking her head out there looking for food is happily moving into a larger setup. We have the background in, we're just working on the hardscape and actually getting it all put together, but it is a much, much larger enclosure. It's about a 70 gallon tank. I, I don't have the exact gallonages and we're very excited to give her an upgrade that she needs and definitely deserves. Because she is an Asiatic rat snake, she does need a good cool enclosure. So she will be going on here because there won't be plant bins and we will be selling Striker's enclosure, but that's a whole nother video. So yes, that does mean Cardinal will be getting the upgrade she deserves. I can't wait to see her in a nice big vivarium that uh, allows her to stretch out and be the active little snake that she is. And I know I 100% mentioned, so I'll keep it brief, that we'll be building Sheldon a pen that spans the entire bottom of this rack. So he'll have about twice as much space as he has currently, because we all know and love Mr. Shell. He is the loves of our lives. 
I also contacted my vet just now, actually while filming this video, asking if he would be able to do a beak trim on him because I'm heading that way to get the glass for our next plans that I'll be talking about right now. Sheldon, we love you and I cannot wait to see you in a much larger enclosure. I'll try and keep it brief because I have mentioned it in the reptile room tour. I'm going to be building two large 110 gallon enclosures. They measure 33 by 22 by 33 inches tall. So that means it will take up this entire space here. It will go from the bottom of the top rack up there. So like where those exoterras are standing to the top of this rack that these guys are standing on. And it'll be literally split right down the middle. So so it will be two massive enclosures for some very rare dart frogs that I'll be importing. Like I mentioned, they are custom built by myself. So hopefully I'll be able to use it to kind of market our business and market what we can do for people as well as try out a new background technique and really just enjoy this new space that we'll be creating for our frogs. And it's also just going to be a nice place for me to kind of chill because it'll literally be a massive wall of vivarium that wraps up the amendments to the reptile room tour that will be happening over the next several months stuff that i also didn't mention like upgrading some of the chihuahuas um, some of the chihuahuas we are selling as i mentioned on the reptile room tour so if you guys haven't seen that i'll leave a link in the description to everything i mentioned that i can link most notably the reptile room tour so make sure you guys go check that out of course totoka and i had a great time filming this video he's just lounging as you guys can see i'm feeling good post COVID getting a lot of stuff done. I want to thank you guys all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section what you are most excited. For. Which project do you think is the most important? Which project do you think will be the coolest? Leave that all in the comments down below. I would love to engage in a conversation with you guys. Totoka's getting ready to go back into his tank. But if you guys like this kind of video and want more just kind of run and gun videos like this one, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more of this kind of content and also some very exciting stuff coming in the near future. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Later.